Welcome to Seven Pot Club. I'm Rob. I grow hot peppers. It's been a month since I planted this garden bed, and a little over two weeks since I potted the last pepper plant. For days now, I've been putting off making this garden update video because I was quite distressed about how poorly the plants were doing. The weather turned cold and wet the day after I planted this bed, and except for a warmer day here and there, it's been colder and wetter than normal ever since. Many of the plants looked scrawny, yellowish, limp, and lifeless, and I was seriously worried that whole growing season was going to be an embarrassing disaster. But now, things are finally looking up. Although progress is still way behind where it was last year at the end of June, the plants are finally looking healthier and experiencing a serious growth spurt. This happy development has caused an uptick in my serotonin levels and an improvement in my general mood and demeanor. Temps are finally warming up, and we'll see 90s this weekend. I've got a lot to show you around the garden, but first, I want to sing you a new song. I wrote this one from the plant's perspective. It's called, I'm Running Late. Before we proceed, it would be great if you could like this video, subscribe to our channel, then tap the bell so you receive a notification every time we post a new episode. Now, let's get started. Ah, uh, the old home place in summer. I wanted to get some good overview footage of the garden, and I don't have a drone, so I went that extra mile for you viewers. Here I am across the street on a stepladder in search of a better angle. Now I'm up on the roof. From here you can see almost everything except for the plants behind the big wall in the front. Here they are. Even though progress is weeks behind last year, most of the plants are finally looking healthy and really starting to grow. Look, shishitos! And these are the biggest marigolds we've ever grown. Many plants are developing pods. If I had the time, I'd spend hours every day just carefully observing the progress of each one of these plants. And I'm finally starting to deploy these cool green mini hoops I got to corral some of the larger plants. I did a quick count, and I think there are 207 plants at all. 
I planted everything, and I'm not sure where I'm going to put some of these surplus plants when I need more room to gain access for harvesting. This jelly bean is kind of a mystery. This is from the same seed that last year produced a giant plant with blue ribbon winning peppers. But this year's specimen is remaining very tiny like a dwarf plant. Cute, but I'd like more peppers. Check out this dragon's breath. This is the plant that was doing so poorly in the ground that I swapped it for another plant. I guess I should have been more patient, because look at it now, it's doing much better. And what about these Carolina Reapers? These are the ones we're growing to compare results of fish manure, fish manure compost versus chemical fertilizer. These are much larger than the other plants because they were planted about a month earlier. The honeydew pots are the fish manure plants, and the light blue pots hold the plants grown with the same chemical fertilizer products I used last year. When I transplanted them into these pots a month back, the chemical plants were noticeably larger. Today, the fish manure plants are catching up, and although it's hard to tell from this angle, they are actually filling out much more than their chemical brothers. One of the organic plants already has a ripe reaper, the first reaper of the season. As part of this test, I'm feeding the chemical plants just like I did last year. It's time to give them each a tablespoon of this granular fertilizer and work it into the soil. The fish manure plants won't receive any additional fertilizer, and it doesn't look like they'll need it. I'm really happy with the job it's doing with the other plants as well. Thanks again to Fishner for supplying it to me for this growing season. I'm going to do a more in-depth comparison of these reaper plants in an upcoming video, so look out for that coming soon. Several of the plants in the last batch I potted seemed to need a little encouragement, so I decided to try and perk them up with a little foliar and soil feeding using the Dr. Earth starter fertilizer that I used when transplanting. This is a very gentle organic fertilizer, and hopefully it will provide the little extra oomph they need to really take off. Now let's talk about our annoying seasonal pest problem, the plant munching four-lined bug. We did a whole episode about this last year, for which I'll provide a link in the description and at the end of this video. Throughout their nymph and adult stages, these little true bugs love to munch on the tasty leaves of many plants, including peppers. Cat searches for them daily and squashes everyone she finds. We don't use any kind of pesticide, even natural ones like neem oil, because they can also be a threat to the pollinators we want to attract to our garden. The damage to peppers this year so far has not been bad enough to threaten the life of the affected plants, and thankfully their life cycle should be over soon. And we definitely want to thank our friend Jim Kingman for sending us his white ghost pepper hot sauce, along with an amazing assortment of spicy jellies. We look forward to trying these out in the near future. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel and tap the bell to receive a notification each time we post a new episode. Do you like this shirt design? It was created by our friend and super talented artist John Sauer. More about John in an upcoming episode. He's been working up a bunch of new hot pepper related designs for us, and several are now available at sevenpotclub.threadless.com. Threadless is a print-on-demand service, so you can order these designs printed on a wide variety of apparel, including t-shirts, hoodies, and sweatshirts. More new designs are coming very soon, as well as stickers, phone cases, hats, bags, wall art, and much more. Again, that's sevenpotclub.threadless.com. And to stay up to date, on everything Seven Pot Club, please follow our daily exploits on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. For Seven Pot Club, I'm Rob.